Hello Scorpio, hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. This is a general reading, it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, please take what does and you might want to look at your moon and rising sign for greater clarity. Now this is the Eight of Water, the Eight of Cups here. You can see it's a very sort of dreamy type card, he's in the background walking away there. Okay, so it's a desire to move on. The search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. Now, this is about discontentment because after this eight comes the nine and it's a wish fulfillment. The nine's a wish fulfillment. So you can see him walking away here because there's something missing. So it's about situations in your life that are no longer fulfilling you. It could be jobs where there's no job satisfaction anymore. It could be relationships that have run their course. It will be different for everybody despondence it's about you're just sitting there and you're feeling put off you're not feeling like doing very much because things that you're not thriving here confusion there's confusion here as well so it's about decisions that might have to be made here to go towards wish fulfillment but we'll see what the tarot says if this doesn't resonate with you there's a playlist for november on my channel you might want to look at that put a playlist up every month and the the you know every reading eventually goes on to them there's the knight of cups the seven of wands the empress the four of wands the seven of pentacles overall central energy here the two of pentacles the beautiful temperance card the Fool and the Four of Cups. Right, so what we've got here is we've got the Eight, which is something that's not fulfilling yet, and then we've got the Four here, which is like a boredom. It's a boredom card. She's sitting, he's sitting under that tree there and he's not impressed. There's things coming into... Spirit is saying there's opportunities coming here and you're not impressed by them. You're feeling put off. You're feeling very put off. It could be this, like a deja vu type situation or it could be opportunities that are coming to you that, for example, I've got the Knight of Cups here. So there's an example of what I mean. Somebody could be coming forward to offer you their cup of love. Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy it doesn't have to be. And it's maybe somebody who you wouldn't have. It's not your type normally. You're not sure about it. That's just an example. It's not everybody that's looking for love. It could be in any area of your life. What Spirit's saying here is this is about moving you towards happiness. Now, we have the eight, which is a cup missing. Anything that's getting offered to you, please don't be that bored that you can't see the blessings coming forward because this is your ninth cup. And this opportunity, be awake enough to recognise your blessings that are being offered to you. No one, are, There's not a situation or a person comes onto your life path unless they're meant to come onto it. So it's worth looking at and it's worth considering because this is going to move you towards happiness so i know you might be a bit bored at the moment uh, you might have to weigh things up you're going to have to weigh things up here you're a bit put off by things it's making a head over heels decision now this could be although this is cups here it's about how you're emotionally feeling there that's why it's a cup but this could be you making a decision over anything in your life it could be within your work your relationships your work your relationships your finances or your environments of any kind because it's about pentacles and pentacles at anything that's tangible in your life. So there's an area in your life here that's boring you to death. There's something missing and you know it and it's you're feeling very despondent in life at the moment. It could even cause confusion because you might have had a certain, you know, if it's a relationship, uh, it's probably served you well up till now and it could have run its course, like I say. So there's a lot of confusion as well. You could be confused over what's coming forward here. You're not sure about it. But it's all designed to help you weigh things up and move forward to bring greater balance in. It's to help you move towards the Nine of Pentacles. It's nine, the, nine of, the Nine of Cups, I beg your pardon. Now, this is about taking a leap of faith forward on opportunities that are going to be presented to you. So be awake. It's about taking a leap of faith forward. And it's about moving towards happiness and going towards wish fulfillment. So leaving behind anything unfulfilling in your life. Now, it can feel confusing when we're making these decisions. So if you're feeling confused, always connect in with your intuition here. Listen to your soul voice, what you're thinking, sensing and feeling, what's going on around you, what you're seeing, because it will help you with 
help you to weigh things up because you're looking to bring beautiful balance back into your life. Now, when I say balance, I'm talking about harmony so that you're going to be fulfilled again. You're going to feel inspired. You're going to feel at one with everything around you instead of feeling despondent and put off the things. You're going to, this is designed uh, to help you. The energies are such that the spirit is trying to help you bring beautiful balance and harmony into your life. So you have to be prepared to take a leap of faith on what's been offered to you here. Because the overall energy here is about having patience, investing in things, and finding growth. So it might be here that things are not going your way at the moment. You might find that you're investing in things and it's not moving forward as quickly as you would like. Um, it's confusing you as to why there's no movement or why there's something missing. Uh, you're learning all the time. So it could be that you might have to show patience for those that are investing in goals that, uh, and you might have hit a brick wall with it. You know, you might feel it's not moving. This could be you emotionally feeling as if something's not fulfilling you, but it might be that you have to have patience and you might have to uh, invest in it a wee bit longer here. So it could be either for anybody. It could be new things coming in or old things going out, or it could be you investing in things that are not moving as quickly as you would like. There's confusion and despondency within that. But if you show patience and you nurture the right people, situations and environments, whatever this may be for you, you will move towards your ninth cup. You will find the ninth cup. So, for example, um, if you're in a relationship that you're nurturing and there's setbacks or confusion within it, and you feel there's something missing, it could be that you might need to move your relationship onto the next level. You know, if you're investing in something and it's it's not moving, you might need to move it on to living together or marriage or something like that. But that's just an example. You'll know what this is if it's something you're already invested in. But it's about weighing this up and finding this greater stability. You need to find greater stability. So if it's not love, if it's not that, if it's anything else in your life, it's about weighing things up, making a head over heels decision and coming into this beautiful stability for you, your family, your environment, your soul tribe, whatever you consider your family to be. So whatever you're taking your leap of faith towards something here, whatever it may be for you. And what happens is you go into this position here once you've made this decision and you'll be able to take on any challenges that come forward. You've got the upper hand here because you've made the decision now. And you might have to stand your ground as well, but you'll be able to take on any challenges that come forward, most definitely. You've got the upper hand. And what will happen, there'll be new rebirth and rejuvenation will come back into your life. The confusion will leave you and new things will come in. Now, this, like I say, could be marriage. It could be starting up a family. It could be pregnancy. So there might be something missing in your relationship. It could be a baby. So for some, I'm just giving you examples. So it could be that for some of you. Whatever this is, whatever's missing, um, it might be that you need patience. Like I say, you're feeling let down. You might need patience or it's new beginnings and reju rejuvenation, new hope coming in. But the confusion will pass if you weigh things up and make a head over heels decision and beautiful harmony will come into your life. So if some of you, you could be leaving situations behind completely and going down new paths. It could be you need to be more patient or it could be you need to move. If you're bored in a job, if you're bored with your job, it might be that you need to invest more into it. You might need to, you know, take on a course. And that will move you forward. It will make you happier. Whatever you're investing in, it's about having the patience and nurturing it. So signs, signs. Your past loved ones are never far from you. Notice the signs they send you. Now, this is signs, symbols and synchronicities we're talking about. There could be repeated songs on the radio you're hearing. There could be master numbers, 11, 22, or 22, 33, 44. If you see these numbers, please look them up because there's meanings to them. Uh, it could be leaves, feathers. You'll start to notice things if you're, if you're awake enough and you're not bored, you see. Ground, ground. It's time to ground and centre your energy and be truly present in your life. This here is about being in the present and recognising everything as a blessing that crosses your path. There's more to things than you realise here. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.